All right, well, we're recording the archive for Mailbag. Uh, looks like it's not going to be too long a Mailbag today, which is good. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you heard me just now testing the mic, um, it's I realized that it doesn't work, and it's because I didn't deploy the code that I wrote to fix it. So uh, next week, probably. Um, until then, we'll just do it the usual way. Hey, bud. Hi. Right. All right, uh, it's mailbag time. One more second, though. Okay, let's see if any kids decide to come join us for today's mailbag. Uh, and let me check the camera angles. Hi, Maggie. What are you looking for, huh? <laughs> Hi, bud. Hi, tiny sporty. Hi. All right. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, that looks good enough, I guess. We can work with that. So, uh, welcome to today's mailbag. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot to it. Now, before I forget, uh, I want to mention thank you to um, uh, Ruth and Bob. Ruth and Bob sent kitty litter, which I didn't even bring in because it's very heavy. Um, so, I, I stacked it in the garage for now. Uh, but thank you so much for the, the kitty litter. I think it was Boxy Cat. I only saw the back of the package, though. I didn't see the front. Uh, so uh, I really appreciate it, though. That's, that's nice of you to send. Thank you for that. 
Uh, okay, I wanted to say that now so I didn't forget to say it. And uh, let's jump right in. Oh, uh, news for the week. What is news for the week? Um, I don't think there really is any. Everybody's healthy. They're doing well. Everybody's happy. Uh, now, a Teaspoon is upstairs with DJ right now, and he's been spending a lot of time upstairs because he is on a diet of strictly chicken and nothing else. And so keeping him separate is how we uh, manage all the feeding and make sure he doesn't get anybody else's food. And the whole point of that is just kind of a test to see what's going on with his intestines. Uh, and we're going to follow up with the, uh, the actual test to see how it went on Monday morning. So uh, by then we'll, we'll know something. We don't know anything right now. That's, uh, but he's fine. He's happy. He's been playful and running around and having a great time with his sisters. So uh, it, it, he, seems, he seems like he's in real good shape to me. Um, and then you saw the new kids, their eyes are starting to open. Uh, that was on yesterday's close up and, uh, probably on one of the micros as well, but, uh, I don't know if I pushed publish on those yet, so I need to get caught up on that. I see we've got some kittens exploring the great outdoors. It's a, turned into spring here. It's getting very warm out. Um, today it's supposed to rain though and be high of like 70. So except for the incredible humidity, it'll be pretty nice. Um, I see Spork, I think, just went out in the cat run to take a look around. So our first letter today is covered in stickers. It's got a whole bunch of little cats, <clears throat> cats in glasses, cats drinking. Um, and uh, we've got even a dog here and a cat snuggling each other. Very cute. And inside the note says, oh, this is cute. It's got a, sh uh, a like a falling star, like a, like a shooting star, I guess. And it says, some people just seem to have a special gift for sharing their hearts in the most amazing ways. For them, it's never about being noticed for their acts of kindness. It's simply a reflection of the generous spirit that guides them in everything they do. Thank you. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, more stickers on the inside. And it also says, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and students, just wanted to send a note of thanks and wish you a very happy KA live stream anniversary. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess that's April 20th is when we started the live stream. April 20th of, I want to say it was 2016. So this would be our seven year anniversary. Is that right? Wow. Um, I truly appreciate you sharing your life, home, cats, and kittens with us. Wishing you many more years of happiness, love, and spoogles with gratitude. Perrysburg on Discord. Well, thank you so much, Perrysburg on Discord. Uh, that is super sweet of you. What a nice sentiment. And thank you for sending us a little something uh, to, to mark the fact that, yes, we've been live streaming nonstop for, I guess, seven years now. And uh, when the scholars go back to talk about it, uh, what will they say? I don't know. Um, I guess the... Uh, We've slowly expanded. You know, we started with one camera in uh, in Hazel's birthing box to keep an eye on her kittens. And uh, since then, it's just been more and more cameras and more and more uh, of our lives, I guess, on the stream in a way. Although DJ and I always try to take a back seat to the kittens, uh, just sort of the background here. But now uh, we've even devolved to the point where there's cameras in the spa, which was never a thing before. Uh, still, you know, not a constant thing, um, but, uh, but there we are. So it's been a long and crazy journey so far, and we're not nearly done yet. Um, I don't know that we ever will be. So uh, thank you. Thank you for that. All right, that's the one letter, although we've got some other vaguely letter-shaped packages here. So let's start with one of those. There's a weird pull tab here in the middle. <clears throat> that's a strange place to put it. Oh, I see. It contains newspapers. I like that. This is always fun for me, uh, especially the ones with a lot of ads. And, well, they all have a lot of ads in them, don't they? Uh, but it's funny because I'm so anti-advertisement in most of my life, but then this is the one time I kind of seek them out. It's in these uh, newspapers because you see so much like local sort of schlocky ads, the kind of stuff you used to see on late night TV, uh, you know, on the UHF channels specifically. Um, and, uh, you know, stuff that was just ridiculous and, and made for like $10 and uh, filmed on the, the car lot or whatever. <laughs> uh, so you still see that that sort of, I would say, quality of advertisements in the local papers. And that's what's fun about it is sort of seeing that local uh, charm is what I would call it. So we have the, uh, the Californian, the East County Californian. We have In Good Health, BFO Health. And uh, let's see, there's a note in here somewhere. 
we have the San Diego Reader, our food critic, compares notes with Chad GPT. They've titled it Bytes versus Gigabytes. I see what you did there. And the San Diego Union Tribune. Wow, very cool. These are going to be super interesting because normally it's the small readers, but San Diego's not exactly a small town. And inside of that, a tiny note that says, Dear Kitten Academy, here are a few newspapers I picked up on a recent trip with my husband to his hometown of San Diego, California, to visit with his family. Also, a healthcare paper I picked up where I live in West Seneca. Oh, wow, coast to coast. Uh, this is my first time sending anything. I wish it was more than newspapers. Thank you for all you do for all the mom, cats, and kittens. Thank you also for allowing us into your home to watch them and the faculty. Best regards, Donna S. Well, Donna, uh, thank you so much. This is really sweet. And you say you wish you could have sent something more, but I, I feel like you said exactly the right thing. This is something I love. And, uh, you know, uh, when people want to send things for me instead of for the kittens, a note, a letter is, is my favorite thing. Newspaper is probably my second favorite thing. Uh, so thank you very much. It's perfect. Let's put your note with the other note. And uh, I guess keep rolling here. Let's find out what's next. We've got a stack of three boxes that are labeled one, two, three. I guess we can go. Oh, wait, we've got some more vaguely letter-shaped things. Let's go to those next. Let's see what this could be. Hi, Maggie, what are you doing? Okay. Well, perhaps another newspaper. I like that. Is there something else in here? No. All right, well, this newspaper is the Arizona Courier News, Apache Junction, Gold Canyon, and East Mesa. And something on page 12 says, furries, if you think it's your cat, think again. Hmm. And the picture of a cat. Let's see what that is. Oh, interesting. Uh, apparently, there's a furry on the school board, and there's a whole article about it. Interesting. Well, it'll be interesting to see what their take is on that. And there's a little inset here. What is a furry? Well, that ought to be super interesting from the Arizona Courier News. I'm looking forward to reading that in depth. Meanwhile, uh, let's see, we've got a beautiful picture of the stars at night and one of those big uh, cactuses. What are they? Squaro cactuses, I think, something like that. A uh, beautiful photo. And inside it just says, thank you. All right, photo notes. Interesting by Kimball Constant. It seems like this is somebody's actual photo that's pasted on here. If somebody took that, that is an amazing uh, photo. It's hard to get the stars like that. Uh, hello from the desert southwest. Oh, it's a beautiful. Oh, OK, Maggie, why don't you just eat that? It's a beautiful place, too. I've been uh, really just a couple times to New Mexico and to Arizona. And uh, the, you think of the desert as being a place that is a desert. You know, you think sand and, and sort of monotone. And uh, it is, at least when I've been, not like that at all. There's all kinds of flowers and color. And it's uh, beautiful, just beautiful. Um, anyway, this is just a note in a local paper. I hope you will enjoy reading. I certainly will. Kitten Academy has become the go-to YouTube site for the whole family. We all enjoy watching the faculty and families and felines that you foster. Nice alliteration. Thank you so much for all you do and sharing it with so many people around the world. I may be using too many exclamation marks, but it's hard not to when writing about the wonderful place you've created and shared with us. I did want to share a story about one of our cats that seems to indicate that cats may be much smarter than we think that they are. Like many people, we have several security cameras around our house that show various views of the outside, letting us see what's happening outside. The monitor we have shows all the views from the various cameras. Our cat, Koneko, uh, enjoys watching Kitten Academy and other programs on TV, so it was not surprising when she also became interested in watching the security monitor. What did surprise us was what happened when she was watching the monitor one of the cameras was showing a bird in our garden. Watching the bird was not surprising, but jumping up and running to the window overlooking the garden to see the bird better did. It appears she somehow learned that the picture she sees on the monitor connected to the view she sees out the various windows in the house. She's done this more than once and not only to the one window. Wow, to me that's scary smart, so don't underestimate those furry, purry cuties. They may be smarter than we think. Thanks again for all you and DJ do for the felines in your care. Stay well and keep on keeping on. Maudie. Well, Maudie, uh, Maudie, thank you so much. That is really sweet. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to reading this uh, this paper and looking through the local ads. 
and the article about the furry on the school board. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I, I, I appreciate it. You know, the cats are pretty smart that way too. I'm trying to think, you know, sometimes the cats, we've always got the Kitten Academy live stream playing and sometimes the kittens really get interested in watching it. And sometimes uh, a couple of them even try to jump into the TV. Um, but the faculty pretty much ignores it. And um, the kittens, I don't think I've ever seen a kitten sort of see something on the TV and either go like, oh, it's like something that's obviously, oh, that's me. Or, oh, you know, my family's playing in the other room. I should go. Uh, hey, Maggie, that was uncalled for. So, um I don't think we've had that exact experience, but I can totally believe it. It sounds like something that, that I can imagine happening, and it sounds really cute. That's uh, that's really something else. I see uh, Spork's gone over to investigate my shoes, and uh, I see Spatula out in the cat run now. I'm glad that they're all getting a chance to go out and enjoy that. It's supposed to be super rainy later today, so uh, this may be their only chance before it starts to get really wet out there. All right, next up, this says April in Asheville. Ooh, a lot of stuff in this, including another paper. Wow, it's like my uh, mailbag anniversary here. Uh, let's see. The Mountain Express. All right, Power Pursuit. Are we ready for the coming electric vehicle surge? I, I see what you did there. Maybe you need an electric surge protector. Uh, you also sent some treats, I see, for the kitties. Applause in broth. Tuna filet with crab. That sounds pretty good. Uh, the applause loin, a big hit, and the reveal treat, and the Shiba meaty sticks. Those are all great. Maggie wants to try one right now. You can wait. Uh, applause is one of the foods that we thought about switching to for a while. It still might. It's a, it seems like a fine choice, and their treats are really cool. The interesting thing about applause, though, is they don't make a wet food that is a complete cat food. They only make a wet food that they say has to be supplemented with their dry food. When we check, this may not be true anymore. But if you read the fine print on their wet food, they'll say it doesn't provide the complete diet that the cats need, you have to supplement it with their dry food uh, to get the full nutrition out of it, which is interesting. It wasn't a problem for us. We're happy to do it that way, uh, but it's interesting that that's the way it's done. So this is cute. This says, happy birthday. It's a beautiful day. It's got party balloons. Happy birthday to me. I hope I have the best birthday ever with all my KA friends. Well, happy birthday, April in Asheville. You also sent us a gift card for your birthday, uh, I guess. That's interesting. Put that right in our box and a longer note here that may explain things a little more oh hi spatula what'd you find outside huh all right hello mr a dr dj and kitten fans all over the internet it's that time again i'm having another birthday thank goodness yes and i'm sharing gifts with the academy I've sent a few food treats to share with students and faculty and a small donation to use as you see fit I've signed up for KA Con and can't wait to meet everyone in person. I'm especially excited to see everyone in their favorite cat-themed Hawaiian shirts. I hope we manage to get at least one group photo of that to share with the world. It might just break the internet. Give my love to the Golden Child Teaspoon and extra spoogles to my favorite faculty member, Loganberry. You can tell I'm partial to gingers. I'm working on a care package for puddles in the April meowers and will send it soon. They're growing so fast, they may be out of the box before their gifts arrive. I hope everyone is watching. Um, oh, let me try again. I hope everyone watching is staying happy and healthy and enjoying spring. Until we meet in July, pet kittens and ramble on April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. Well, April, that's super exciting. Wow, this year's KA Con is going to have some, uh, some, some new faces that are uh, familiar people. That's always a, a fun thing uh, to meet people that you've known for a long time for the first time. Uh, that's a that's a real treat. So uh, super exciting. These kids are playing on the cat wheel, and I want to see if I can get it on the stream before they stop. What do you think? Oh, it's already aimed the right way. That should be easy. There we go. We're having a little walk together on it. That's super cute. Let's see if I can get a picture too. Uh, there we go. I think that'll do. All right. Don't eat this. It's got plastic in it. You don't need. I know it looks like a fun toy, but you don't need to eat that. Well, Okay, get it off. Oh, there we go. I didn't mean to push you away like that. Let me go put it in my pocket. All right. Well, this is the next most letter-like thing, although I can clearly feel there's some kind of a box in here. We will open this one next. Uh, April Nashville, that's super exciting. I'm excited, too. 
Ooh, all right. Uh, a bag of little rattle, yes, little rattle mice. A box, I should say, of little rattle mice. And something heavy. Churu, whoa, 60 tubes. Churu, all chicken recipes. Wow, cat treat. Yeah, I'll say that is a lot of churu. So those are great uh, staple uh, toys and staple treats. But, oh, wait, wait, maybe there's a note. What is this? Let's see. Here we go. There is a note, and it says, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Sending simple supplies for endowments or use right now as you see fit. Springs and Churu are our favorites, and Auntie Piper is sending her favorite fur mice. Love to all from Baba Ganoush and Stanza. Aw, thank you so much. That is really sweet. Uh, Baba Ganoush and Stanza. Oh. <laughs> Uh, the reason I'm laughing is because um, uh, a spatula just ran and jumped onto the rug wall and then just stuck to it like Velcro. Now she's climbed most of the way up it, but that initial run and jump and just cling was very funny. Uh, now they're both playing on it. That's crazy advanced. I'm, I'm surprised. We've never even put anything over there to help them get up onto the, the rug. And they've been, uh, at least uh, a spatula's been climbing it for a while now. Just figured it out from nothing, uh, which is very cool. Oh, wow. Uh, and using the glass bowl, which uh, most of them don't use, that's hardly gotten any use at all. I think she's a little afraid to get into it, but she can. Oh, what is it? Nibbles, why? Wow, wow. Wow, use your words. I guess she is. Wow, that's some vocabulary. Nibbles, come here. You know that sound, huh? But there's no treats. Well, I guess there are, but I'm not going to open one right now for you. Because <laughs> that would just start a fight with Maggie. All right. Okay, next box. This says box one of three with note. That's some good labeling right there. It's also uh, um, from Busy Cat, I believe. Although I've covered it up, so let's find out. I think you can tell from the fact that it's got the logo printed on each side. And possibly, well, I'm not getting as much of the drift of the draft here, but uh, did the note come out? Where's the note? Ah, it's stuck to the knife card. Very tricky. Okay. Busy cat. Yes, indeed. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. This week I've sent three boxes, two containing quilts for the utensils and gowns, and a third special package just for Teaspoon. The box for Teaspoon contains a set of bedding for when he is sleeping on the floor of the main kitten room looking like a homeless kitten. It's a cushion pad, a mini pillow, and a mini blanket. I hope he will sleep on it. Well, I hope so too, but I wouldn't get your hopes up too much. He likes to sleep in the middle of the floor like a homeless kitten. It's so silly. Uh, as Teaspoon is staying with you longer than a kitten usually would, please feel free to deploy his larger endowment quilt as well as I have another bedding project in the works for him that will be arriving shortly. As usual, all quilts and teaspoons bedding uh, set have been washed and lightly scented with the draft. The little pillow cover is removable with love from Busy Cat. Well, that sounds adorable, uh, but that's in the third box. So let's see what we have here first. We have, uh, let's see, this says the Q-Tensils Nibbles, and it's got the Kitten Academy print on it. These are beautiful blankets. So uh, I guess that's what we're going to do for Mom Cat's. Now that I'm moving around a little bit, I can smell a bit of the draft. I'm getting a drift of it. Um, then we have, this is cute. This print says it is for teaspoon. And look at this little orange puff ball on it. I love it. I also, I like that teal and orange. It's a little bit um, like, it's really bright, I guess. The contrast between the orange and the teal is a lot to take in. Uh, but I, I like that. It's, it's a cool color uh, and a cool color combination looks classic and speaking of classic here then we also have one for goblet that has these really cute sort of classic illustrations on a canary yellow background we've got kittens playing in a basket full of sewing supplies we've got one wearing a basket as a hat we've got one playing with a little bit of uh, yarn here's one with a blue bow and all in a done in a very sort of classic art style they're beautiful thank you so much for these I know their adopters are going to really appreciate them, and I love the, the, the various patterns that you've picked out 
Uh, they're very cool. Okay, so let's go right ahead and open up box two of three, and then we can get to the teaspoon box at the end. Let's find out what we've got here. Oh, somebody's in the pod. I guess that must be Spatula. She's playing with the cord that would power tank when you were in the pod. She's chewing on it, on the end of it. That can't be good for anybody. <sighs> All right, uh, moving along. <laughs> um, let's see here. Here we have, oh, Ramekin, and it looks just like little Rammy. Look, here we go, we've got one that's got Tuxy Cat all over it. There we go, and I love that you put little Ramekin's picture on here too, Handmade with Love by Busy Cat. This is so cute. Um, so little Ramekin all over in various poses, super adorable. And then we have Spork, also looks like a Spork. We've got a little black and white kitty on this one, but it's a very different print. So, on here. There we go. I like this. Uh, it's a sort of a lavender purple background with this cute little black and white kitty on it. And this one is even sticking out his tongue. Really cute. Or a little spork. And finally, of course, we have one for spatula that has, I guess these are silhouettes, but you can just as well say that they are little black kittens, just like spatula. Perfect. Spatula, why don't you come out of there? Oh, now there's two of them and there's Spork in there. I think that's Spork, no, that's Spork behind me. So wow, Ramekin got all the way up there into the pod. The two of them are in the pod, Spatula is still chewing on the cord and, uh, oh, okay, now it's Rammy's turn. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, uh, so the, for Spatula, these are really sweet. Thank you so much for those. But again, they're copies, I love them. They're so soft, the kittens will really appreciate it. All right, Ari's gonna wanna climb up here and sit on top of the boxes like he does. Oh, and then we have box number three, it says, for Teaspoon, a little smaller box, just like Teaspoon, a little smaller kitten. Oh, wow, that's some good running, Sporky. I see uh, Spatula's trying to find her way down the stairs. She's done this before, so I know she'll figure it out. She does look a little hesitant. Oh, she's watching the wheel. What is all that about? She's turning her head sideways. She's so curious. Aw, okay, so you've used the same print. Very cute. It says, please deploy for homeless teaspoon. Oh, I see. Wow, they're mom. Uh, so this is the cute little pillow with the removable cover. Wow, very nice. A uh, cute little, probably six inch pillow, eight inch, I don't know. Uh, please deploy for homeless teaspoon. Perfect. So then we've got a little blanket to go with his little pillow. So cute. And a slightly bigger uh, mattress pad, I guess. So he's got his little ICs. It's like a it's like a bed. He's got a he's got his soft pad and a pillow, like you said. And then he's got this little top sheet to tuck him in. Uh, TJ's gonna think that's so cute. And it's the, all that same print, which is uh, super eye-catching. I like it a lot. It is, uh, um, the, again, the contrast is, is very, uh, very eye-catching. But, uh, but I love the teal and the orange really sets it off. Beautiful. And it's just such a rich color. Okay. All right. Let's put all that in there. I'll bring that up to DJ and she'll decide what she wants to do with it for now. I think it would be really cute to put on the floor, but like I said, my guess is he'll, he'll never use it. He just likes the floor for some reason. It doesn't hurt to give him the opportunity, though. All right, uh, just a couple more boxes, really. I guess today is going to be a short one. It's only 10.30. Let's see. This just says Kitten Academy on the outside. So, ah, I see Springs. Look at that. Spring has arrived. There we go. Oh, I see. This is the same note. Sending some supplies for endowments are used right now as you see fit. Springs and Churu are our favorites and Auntie Piper is sending her favorite for mice. Love to all. Baba Ganoush and Stanza. That makes sense. I should have realized the springs were missing from that package before. Oh my goodness. She is just so noisy. Um, all right. Uh, thank you, Bob and Stan. That is really kind of you. Oh, we've got another package here from Ruth and Bob. So it's another chance to say thank you so much for the kitty litter. We didn't bring it in, uh, but it did arrive, so you know. 
there's no note to go with this, but it is some just for cats. Very, very jingly balls. Uh, these kids love the little jingly stuff, though. So look at that out of it. In fact, oh, hi. Hi, Spatula. I didn't see how you got down from the wall, but I guess you figured it out. Even Rammy's looking from up there. Rammy, do you know how to get down? Rammy's eyes right now. Oh, my goodness. Rammy's always got those big Ari. Aw. Her, their mom's carrying a mouse around it. Oh, and playing with it and jumping. Wow. I don't know if that's on the stream, but DJ said she was doing that last night, too. Uh, getting very playful and, and calling her kids to come and play with her toy. She's throwing this little toy around. She just zoomed off with it. Wow. Wow, Nibbles, that's super playful. She's turned into a kitten all of a sudden. Uh, Ruth and Bob, thank you so much for that. Okay. Uh, next up, we have this large box. Here, let's finish this coffee and get it out of the way. Perfect. Oh, that's some good stuff. This is addressed to Kitten Academy Mail Bag Aversary. So, I guess this is another indicator that we've been doing this for a long time now. <sighs> Oh, wow, some classic stuff. I guess we recognize this must be from Pat. And uh, this is so cute. There's a little kitten here in a, uh, I guess, a gift box with roses and balloons coming out of it. And the kitten's wearing a party hat. And it is a pop-up card that contains, I guess, almost the same thing. Inside we have the flowers, the box. We've got three kittens, and they've also got signage. Maggie is going to love that, and now she's just walked away at this point. It says, just a little something for Maggie and the kittens to destroy. Well, you know how it works. Maggie definitely will destroy this, but it's funny that she's just happened to walk away right before we pull it out. Now having a bit of a face-off with, uh, with our noisy mom cat, who's just decided to walk away. That's good discretion, the better part of Valor. Uh, and look at this. Okay, <laughs> this is so cute. Happy mail bag anniversary! Congratulations on another year of successfully matriculating 35 fosters, six mom cats, one pregnant, and 28 kittens. For a total of seven years, 317 fosters, 45 mom cats, 10 fakers, and 262 kittens. Might not take a village, but it does take 3,754 discorders, six faculty members, along with one shiny butler, chief cook and dishwasher, head gardener, main scooper, chauffeur, medicine dispenser, janitor, maintenance engineer, lead developer, and one mother of names, head spoogler, chief decorating advisor, kitten liquor, kitten napper extraordinaire, maker of food balls, blanket change requester, and guardian against eye boogers. Just a few favorites from Trouble and Carry for use as you see fit. Well, Pat, thank you so much. Uh, Trouble and Carrie, I mean, thank you so much. That is really kind of you. Uh, interesting. Wow, I've never seen this before. This is a flapping, quacking duck toy, and I can see from the picture on the back how it works. It's got two little wings. That it looks like a rubber ducky, but it's got wings that stick out on the side, unlike a regular rubber ducky. Uh, and then it's got a weird little mechanism like the one that drives the, uh, the um, lobster or fish except it's got two arms on it. One goes into either arm of the duck and makes its little wings flap. And I guess also talks. It's got a type C charger. Very, this is gonna be really fun uh, for the kittens and for us, I think. So a little flapping duck. Uh, here we have a little electronic smarty cat uh, ball that's got some attachments you can put on it and it will apparently spin around and attract little kittens. Also, it looks like it's got a battery already in it because there's a pull tab that says pull to activate. We're not gonna activate it quite yet, but that is also fun and exciting. Oh, with another accessory right here. Look at that. I think they will enjoy that quite a bit. Here we have a re-up on what you said previously. We have ping pong balls that have the Kitten Academy logo on them. I throw a handful of these into every endowment box and uh, they're really great for that. Plus, sometimes you see them around the Academy too. I like to pick them. Although I don't know if there have been any out here in a while. Uh, also, a re-up on the Kitten Academy fun tubes that say Kitten Academy, where kittens learn to cat on them, along with our logo. Those are so cool. I also throw these into every endowment. We've got two bags of those. Thank you so much. Here we have something interesting. Draft 
odor eliminator and fabric refresher. So it's basically Febreze, but it's Febreze draft scent. <gasps> I am going to love trying that out. In fact, uh, just the other day, DJ ordered a bottle of Febreze and I said, DJ, I, I stock Febreze. It's one of the things that we always have in our, in our uh, cleaning cabinet. And, uh, you know, I said, we've always got the Febreze uh, because originally she liked to use it. And so uh, sometimes you'll see me just walking around spraying stuff without cleaning, and that's what that is. Uh, and DJ said, yeah, but I'm getting a little tired of the regular old Febreze scent. Uh, so perfect timing on this. I can see it's good that you pack this in the uh, plastic bags because this one I can see has leaked a little bit. And I can even smell it just a little bit, but it's still very full, so it couldn't have leaked too much. But it does smell very drafty, so that's super fun. Uh, here we have a rattle ball with a feather on it. That might be the perfect thing to just deploy. And here, the, the piece de resistance, is that what they say? I don't know. Uh, is a wicker or woven basket. It's not wicker, it's uh, reeds or something, right? What do you call that? It's got a, oh, I see. I was wondering what this was. I think now we know. Uh, anyway, it's got a cat face mostly on it. There we go. One of the eyes has come off in shipping, but that's okay. A little bit of hot glue will fix that right up. Or we can just put an eye patch on him. That would be fun, too. Uh, turn him into a pirate basket. And a miniature-sized um, marshmallow bed that is a perfect fit for inside the basket. The kittens will love this. That makes a perfect little kitten basket. I'm going to put the eye under the, um, the marshmallow bed, and that way when I'm ready to put it back on there, I will know where to find it. Perfection. You also sent us apparently a spork. Wow, it looks just like the one we've already got though. So uh, I don't know what to do with that. And then also some Temptations kitten style. One is chicken and one is fish apparently. Mega packs of kitten Temptations. And lastly, a, oh, the three ball set that we are familiar with. Although uh, it can't be exactly the one we're familiar with because it's so soft. And the one that we're used to is that hard uh, pith material. Uh, I call it pith. I don't know if it's pith, but it's like that. It's like a hard foam uh, that's, you know, it's light and the kittens can throw it around and it's safe, but it's got some solidity to it where this is so soft. Ah, I see. It's not the, it is the regular sounds. I bet the same sounds, but look, they're made of fur and they have faces now and they are soft. They're very squishy. Unlike the ones that we are familiar with. Um, so this has three balls in it and each one makes a different animal sound and they're really fun because they actually do make um, very realistic sounds compared to what most of these toys do. One is a frog, one is a cricket, and one is a bird. Uh, that's, that's fun. I love the variety and I love the sounds that these ones make. They're not quite as annoying as some of the others, although if they sit right in front of the camera, they, they'll get to you all day long. Uh, so. Uh, Pat, thank you so much. What an awesome set of stuff. It's wonderful. And uh, I think, uh, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to put these in here to bring upstairs uh, and leave this stuff out to put away with our other things uh, so we can have these out and try them. I'm going to deploy that right now. And then the rest of this goes down, I think, to the endowment zone, most likely. This I'm split on. They're really fun, and the kittens might like them a lot. Uh, I'm going to send it downstairs for now, though. We'll figure it out. Put these things in there as well. All right. Now, there's one more box, so we're not cleaning up entirely yet. Just getting room to put the other box over here, which is oh, a chewy box that's somewhat heavy, and it's addressed to the Q-tensils. All right. Oh, hi, Maggie. Are you going to eat that right now with Ari in front so we can't see it? Oh, and I have to take the draft out because I think I think Ari wants to get in the basket. Ari? Ari, buddy, what are you looking so uh, spooked about, huh? Here, Maggie, chew this over here. No, oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Uh, so our final box to the Q-tensils. Oh, it says from Lisa for kittens. Okay, good. Perfect, because I don't think Chewy lets you leave a note. Oh my goodness, it's packed full of stuff. I expected there to just be like a can of food or something because it was so heavy. Now, I did get a note about a Chewy shipment. Let me see if it's this one or not. Hang on. Hang on. I don't believe that they... 
Uh, wait. Yes, okay, here it is. This one is good. We have two notes, apparently. All right, so this note says, package from Chewy. All right, so uh, Finger Worms 12 pack is what it says. Is that what these are? Are these finger worms? I guess that's what these are, finger worms. Uh, springy worms, it says, springy worms. They are little tiny, uh, I guess, finger-sized worms. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of them in here. 12 packs for endowments and one pack to keep Mr. A's fingers from getting chewed. Keep one in your pocket, but remember to take it out before laundry. What a great idea. This is a perfect size toy and a perfect fun toy for the little kittens to play with. But yes, uh, keeping the, my fingers from getting chewed on is always important because you don't want to teach kittens to bite hands. But they do like to play and it's good to have something on hand, no pun intended, to uh, distract them. So that's perfect. Uh, let's see, you also say foods for teaspoon or any other kitten or cat with tummy issues. These have pumpkin in them, have worked for us at times from Lisa for kittens. Well, perfect, but uh, you said a big variety of the foods. And so this is, yes, uh, I didn't know Tiki Cat made like tummy food, but there we go. Tiki Cat tummy topper is what this one's called. A uh, simple and green blend of pumpkin and wheatgrass that helps promote healthy digestion, delicious by itself or as a topper. Wow, pumpkin and wheatgrass is, is like all that's in it. Pumpkin, water, wheatgrass. Those are the ingredients. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll be amazed if a cat will volunteer to eat that. I've tried wheatgrass, um, which is what we grow, by the way, for the cat grass. It's just wheatgrass. I guess they like to eat that, so maybe not. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Uh, anyway, Tiki Cat Tummy Topper. You also said Aloha Friends Chicken and Pumpkin Recipe. You know, now that I think about it, we have seen that, but I didn't really think about the pumpkin as being a digestive uh, for them. So that makes good sense. And again, the, the list of ingredients on these things is great. Uh, chicken, chicken broth, pumpkin. Then it gets into stuff like the xanthan gum, but that's what you expect. So very cool, Tiki Cat, good stuff. We also have another Tiki Cat Aloha and Friends variety pack. Very cool. Tuna, tilapia, and pumpkin. Tuna, ocean, whitefish, and pumpkin. Tuna, shrimp, and pumpkin. Tuna calamari and pumpkin. Uh, it's like the spam sketch from uh, Monty Python, uh, except with pumpkin. What if I don't like pumpkin? <laughs> well, uh, you can have the uh, the tuna calamari and pumpkin. There's not much pumpkin in it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, then one more. The Tiki Cat Special Fussy supports healthy digestion. Wow, I have this is another one I haven't heard of. Um, and this one says duck, liver, and egg in broth. And uh, pumpkin is on the ingredients list, though. It's a soft, rich flavored mousse made with palatable duck liver and a highly digestible egg to support digestive health. Wow, that is some, I didn't know they made so many different foods for either fussy cats or cats that, uh, you know, have uh, some stomach issues. But, you know, we have kept a bunch of Tiki Cat on hand in the past to use for fussy cats. It's just a good food in general, and uh, the cats all love it. So it's something that we've, we've dug out uh, when we have kittens that, that don't like their food or mom cats that need some encouragement to eat. And uh, we don't actually have any right now. So this is something that uh, is going to fill up that space in our cabinets. Perfect. Also, you said one more thing which is Tiki Cat Born Carnivore Baby Kitten Food for Kittens Six Weeks Plus, which our boy definitely is. It says Kitten Health Debone Chicken and Egg Recipe. Wow. It is a 2.8-pound uh, bag, and it says 2.3 pounds of chicken protein. That's a lot of chicken protein in a bag that only weighs 2.8 pounds. Uh, I'm impressed. The uh, top uh, ingredients are deboned chicken, chicken meal, dried egg, and natural chicken flavor, followed by salmon oil, dehydrated chicken liver, and then we get into peas, chickpeas, tapioca, ground flaxseed, brewer's yeast, chicken fat. That's, uh, that's all good stuff, actually. But the uh, protein percentage is 42% protein. Wow, that is some serious camp food. Uh, that's fun. Thank you so much. I will try all of these on Teaspoon, probably starting after his vet appointment on Monday. We're going to keep him on the chicken, of course, until Monday, just to make sure uh, that he gets the all clear and that we haven't uh, cut any corners. 
But I, I bet he'll like this stuff quite a bit, and it should be fun, especially if he needs to help have help uh, pooping uh, on the regular. Uh, we've got him on a prescription laxative right now that we're giving him every day. And I check his colon every day. I kind of feel his colon to see if it's all backed up like it had been twice now. But it's not. His colon's all clear, which is good. Uh, but his belly does seem like super bloated. Like he, he's still, uh, I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's got gas or maybe, uh, you know, he still has some digestion issues that just cause him to be bloated, but not at the end where the colon is. Uh, or maybe it's just nothing. Maybe he's just a big round kitten. Uh, we'll definitely find out on Monday what the case may be. Uh, thank you so much for the really fun food flow. I'm going to add these to the endowment stuff. And that is, uh, that's our mailbag right there. Look at that. That was, a, that was a short one after all. I didn't expect that to be quite that short. So thank you all for everything. It is much appreciated. What is Spork eating over there? Is it a piece of paper? Ah, Sporky. All right. Well, anyway, uh, it, oh, it's probably a piece of paper from this thing that got ripped off of here already, right? That's fine. It's perfectly, it'll pass right through. Oh, Ari. <laughs> All right, well, let me get this stuff put away and then we'll rapidly archive like always. And uh, maybe I'll eventually get those put online like I'm ought to. Um, where's my box? I guess I got pushed out of the way all the way back. All right. Oh, up and at him. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's see. This can all go under the counter except this. Ari will get in there and eat it. Put it up top for now. Okay, figure out the rest later. All right, papers. Well, let's see. The notes are going to go downstairs. Those, we'll put those in here, here down. Downstairs. All right, oh, take all this. Keep box number three with the teaspoon stuff.
This can go upstairs for DJ to check out first. wonderful. I really appreciate all of it. I know the kids appreciate all of it. And uh, thanks so much for, for mentioning the fact that it's, uh, I didn't realize it's our seven year Disney Academy live stream anniversary. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess that's it though. I'm going to end the archive here and uh, the rest of the day, I don't know. I, I can't, probably won't be able to get a nap today, but I am exhausted. So it'd be nice if I could. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Also, I should really work on getting that new room set up so we can move her uh, upstairs into the annex. That would be, hey, 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 hey. <sighs> Maggie was halfway out the cat door and Nibbles just ran up on her, but stopped short of doing anything, so I guess that's good. All right. <sighs>